we uh, we started out in Mostar, which was is a is a city known for its amazing bridge in the middle that kind of arches over and people uh, people jump off of it. So Marshall, you know, he wanted drone footage and he was also thinking we're going to jump off this bridge. He and so I said, well, if you're going to do it, I'm going to do it. So we uh, but we're looking at this bridge and it is it is pretty high up there. And so we're asking around, you know, can we jump? What's the rule on that? And um, it sounds like we, we can, but the guy said, you know, the guy we were talking to said, go down to the water first, you know, test the water out because it is, you know, it's freezing cold and a lot of people jump. You know, you go really deep in this cold water and they don't, they don't come back up. We go down there and we end up meeting uh, two really cool French guys. They were out there kind of jumping off a smaller little jumping spot. So we, we meet them and, and we, uh, we start jumping off the different levels. So it was a pretty good jump into the deep water and the water was cold. It was very cold. It was um, so we, we had a lot of fun doing all that. Um, everyone jumps and we, we got one of the French guys to jump from the highest spot as well, Philippe. Um, and he, uh, he, he said he couldn't, he couldn't let Americans do it and, and not have him do it. You know, the nine meters was a, was a good jump and it, whatever, but we, we all weren't quite sure we were ready for the bridge. We allowed ourselves to be talked out of it. And, uh, but the two French guys were hitchhiking, so, you know, we wanted to hang out with them a bit more, so we said we're heading up to, we're trying to find this lake. Um, they said, you know, well, we're hitchhiking, we have nowhere to be, we're game. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Yeah. Go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Shake it up. Shake it up. Step. Okay. Go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Go. Oh. Oh. Here it goes. Go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Go. Go. Give me the keys. <laughs> yeah. Two French guys and Patrick in the back, uh, Marshall driving and John on my lap in the front seat. So six people in our uh, in our little polo, but we uh, it was a champ and we headed up and we were you know we we got a good we got an amazing little dinner on the way. We stopped at a little bakery, so we had that and then we headed up kind of after that in in the dark, tiny back roads and we asked around. We honestly didn't get lost. It was just a really long drive. Finally, we stopped you know way up in the mountains and we pitched camp. Um, at a little roadside shack. So after driving probably close to an hour up this uh, really crazy mountain road uh, and really, really dense fog, I mean, you, you couldn't see hardly anything. Uh, we think we finally made it to the lake, or at least the top of the mountain where the lake should be. We haven't seen it yet. And uh, we kind of stumbled into this kind of outdoor kitchen. And so we're here uh, drinking coffee. A woman just brought us some baklava. Uh, and they don't speak English here, so um, we don't really know what food we're going to get or if they're gonna keep bringing us food, but we're gonna keep sitting here and, and let them bring us food because so far it's been pretty good. And then eventually um, they bring out what is like a, it was like a cinnamon roll pastry looking thing, but it was stuffed with cheese. Um, sure. It was so amazing. Um, and then we go explore this lake in the fog. Uh, we never ever got to actually see what the lake looked like as a whole, but it was real. I mean, it was a very, it was marshy. Um, it wasn't what we were expecting, but it was a really beautiful um, kind of the whole surrounding area on the lake was really beautiful, um, especially in the fog. So we, we we saw that it was actually somewhat of a really uh, obscure vacation spot for locals. But you could, it was only a few people there. There was a scuba diving club and a few other campers. Um, but it was it was amazing, just gorgeous lake. And then... Nous sommes à Procosco Jezero avec nos amis uh, américains. We are at uh, Procosco Lake with the Americans. Yes. <laughs> Alors nous sommes euh, nous avons monté, nous avons campé euh, à une heure d'ici. Their company is very enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Alors nous sommes réveillés à 9h30. Puis nous avons conduit pendant une heure. This is uh, the best day in the universe. <laughs> nous avons pu manger un repas délicieux dans le village. 
We had some delicious food uh, for lunch or breakfast up there. Yeah. Et le fromage était, était moins bon que ceux en France. The, uh, ah. the cheese was better than French cheese. Oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ensuite, nous avons fait le tour du lac et pris de magnifiques photos. The uh, sweets were also very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we all got back in the car and we headed to uh, Sarajevo. And from there, we, uh, we, you know, we, that was the French guys where they were trying to hitchhike to. So we, we parted ways from them. We had uh, 12 kebabs between the six of us. <laughs> Um, and some, some emotional goodbyes, we exchanged info um, and, uh, you know, wished each other the best. Um, and then, you know, we, we headed out. Don't let your 